I get asked this question a lot. Andrew, how do I film a YouTube video? In this video, we're going to answer this question. Oh, hey, before we start, let's say a big thank you to Viltrox. Viltrox made this video possible by sponsoring this. Well, just like you, when I started this channel seven or eight years ago, I didn't know how to start. Even though I was filming a lot of video for my client, but starting a YouTube channel, what do I need to do? What cameras do I need to use? How simple should I make this? How difficult should this be? How much effort do I put in? How do I even start filming this? What kind of props? Where do I do this? All this prevented me from starting correctly for the first two years. I keep you now. For two years, I was scratching my mind how to do this. Because when I'm filming for my client, we have storyboards, we have scripts, we have screenplays. But this, this is your own channel. You just don't know how to do the mechanics of this show. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna answer the most basic question how you can get started. I think the most basic question that you can do is how do you even film your video and where should you film your video and what do I need to film my YouTube video? Firstly, I think we need to do a quick tour of the place that I film my video. Now. I'm going to be introducing to you the cameras and the audios and all that stuff. This is Tarsen, Tarsen Flimmer Videos, and he uses a Canon camera today. I'm going to let him tell you what settings and all that he uses. So the camera settings for today is the ISO is set to 500, the f-stop is 4, and the shutter is set to 150 because we are using 1080p 25 frames per second. Great! Yeah. This that simple. That's the video camera. You can use any video camera. But what you want to do is that you want to get great audio. If you look at all our videos, we make sure that our audio sounds good. Because most of the time, what I'm saying to you is more important than the visual. And for that, I have a lavalier microphone clipped to my shirt here. And you notice that I invert this for a few good reasons. Watch some of this episode where I explain to you why I invert the capsule. And then this is rooted through my shirt, comes out here, extra cable is always tucked in here, and then I use the Boya BYXM 6S2, and I clip this here, and this transmitter is going to be connected to Tarshan's receiver right here, which is then connected to the camera with the mic in port. And Tarshan is always monitoring my audio. And then it makes you think like, hey, if it's filming me, then who's filming this? You know what? I'll let you figure this out. If you do, put in the comment section. Lighting. We use a 1K LED light, which is bounced to the wall right here. That's the reason why we bounce it that way. I'll tell you about this later on. So the main light will light me up, the second LED light that we have. This is an aperture LED panel that we have which is always connected and shining light onto my shoulder and my hair at the side here. This is called a rim light or kicker light. You should watch this episode where I show how important it is to have a kicker light or rim light which separates you from the background. And then we have another one right here, which does the same thing, pointed there as well. Firstly, you must be thinking like, why do I need three lights? Simple guys, we're going to turn off the two rim lights. See, this is without the rim light. And then we're going to turn that bam on. Notice the one on the left. My face has more definition and shape and not as flat as the one on the right hand side. That's what rim lights do. And then the main light, we bounce it to the wall. Right, let me show you what happens when it's bounced nearer to me. You're going to see a reflection behind me. You're going to see hard light and a lot of... My face is going to look oily. And we got that shine at the back as well. Not good. So back to where it was. So you need to discover all this. I'm not saying that you need to go out and buy three lights. You need at least one light to create the separation. You know what? Sandeep, just turn off that main light. I just want to show what happens when you have that main light off. See? Turn it back on. Huge difference because that light is supposed to separate me from the background. And over here is where I sit and then I'm talking to where the camera is right there. And in front of me, I have this Apple box which always have my scripts and treatment. 
producer Yi Chong always give me the script and I have it on a tablet format which I can look at. You must be thinking like Andrew, I'm not like a company like you with a studio, with a big channel and people working for you and all that. How do I start? Where do I get my producers? You are the host, you are the producer, you are the editor. That's how I started as well. And then you need to do your own research you need to print them out. If you don't want to print them out, you're anti-paper and printing, then you can put them on the tablet like so. If you don't want to have a tablet, you can always fit it into your smartphone and read it off this, memorize as much as you can. And then finally, the choice of background. This is at least four meters away. When you have a separation that much, you actually have blurry background looking like so. And these lights are always turned on left and right so that you get this blobby lighting at the back, which is quite subtle. And we always have this curtain halfway. And the light there is always turned on. This will give more light at the background. Just to give you an idea, this is where I sit. And we're going to do a lot of discussions before we go for filming. And again, Viewtrox, thank you for making this video. Possible. If you haven't been to Viewtrox website, you should because this is a brand and a company that makes awesome photography and videography equipment from lenses, camera cages, field monitors. Their field monitors are really awesome. In fact, I'm using their 4K field monitors. If I'm not wrong, we have about four units of Viewtrox field monitors. They are good quality, they're long lasting and affordable too. Apart from that, Viewtrox also make lenses. In fact, check out Viltrox Indiegogo campaign. They have a new lens upcoming. You don't want to miss it. This is one awesome lens. And among the awesome things that Viltrox make, LED lights. I use their LED lights a lot. So if you're a photographer or videographer looking to improve on the arsenal equipment that you have, look no further. Viltrox make awesome products. Check out our website right here. Great, you've seen the setup, you've seen the camera settings and the camera that we use, what we use for audio and lights and all that stuff. But I think what's more important now is that you have to see the mistakes that we make and how we overcome them on a daily basis when we make YouTube videos like this. And talking about mistakes, one of the biggest mistakes that you can make is that you create your own mistake. Things that you say go wrong. You know, I have my script and treatment in front of me and all that, I can read this. Even that, I need to memorize because I cannot stray my eyes away. The eye line is just gonna tell. Where I look at is the eye line. A slight shift on eye line. If I were to just look at the logo of the camera, you could tell. And you notice one thing. When I think and I talk, I try not to like roll my eyes too much. So you gotta really memorize whatever you wanna say. And that's it. No matter what you do, you will make mistakes. And when mistakes, and when mistakes happen, you need the miracle of editors coming in very easily to snip this off. So when this footage reaches the editor, they will now know that this part is a mistake and snip it away and then just punch in a little bit during editing. So when it's done, you're gonna look like this. No matter what you do, you will make mistakes. And when mistakes happen, so every time you make a mistake, just snip it away. Shot number one, shot number two. Shot number one is a little bit loose. Shot number two is a little bit tighter. And then when you make another mistake, you zoom out again. So zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. And that way, you're gonna look like a superstar. No mistakes, never make mistake kind of host. You just go because editors snip them away. And that's it. I do not want to keep this video too long. At least you can get started. You can use a smartphone. You can use your cheap mirrorless camera. You can use a DSLR, whatever it is. Get yourself a wireless level of microphone. You can try some of the brands that we have reviewed here. They're pretty great and affordable. But what's more important, get started. And in the next video, part two perhaps, I'll bring you to the producers and directors and editors office on the other side of the building. I will show you how they produce the content, how they do research, and also how they make the videos even more amazing at the hands of the editors. Well, you can do all this on your own. The reason why we have a company doing this is because we make advertisements, commercial advertisements. And with the extra time, we build a team to make YouTube videos and e-learning content. And speaking about e-learning content, visit this website here and check out this e-learning here. 
This is a full-fledged course that teaches you effortlessly and correctly how you can take videos beautifully, all sponsored by Hollyland. And check out the price. This is truly affordable because it's a sponsored course. So viewers, thank you and I hope you get started and do that video you've always wanted to do. It's easier than you think. Once it's there, you come back here, on off, right? And then you just handle that light there. That's all. Yeah, just, just rotate it. Got it, huh? It's okay we make mistakes, but don't forget your block, right?